Well, good morning, everyone. Welcome to our Junior Assembly uh, today on Thursday, the 17th of September. Unfortunately, due to technical difficulties, we are unable to bring you any of the little films that we normally do. So we're just going to go with a voiceover assembly this morning to deliver a few messages that we would like to pass on to you. The first of those messages is regarding your school bags. Now, quite a lot of you are starting to leave your bags lying around um, at break and at lunchtime. We can't have that, folks. So you should be taking your bags with you when you go for your lunch. Uh, we've obviously recommended that you make use of the school canteen or that you bring a packed lunch in with you. Um, so you should have your bag with you at that point. Um, anybody who is making the decision to leave the, the building, leave the school grounds, you should have your bags with you. We are noticing as well a number of people who are leaving their bags lying around while they head off to class, telling us that they do not need their bag in a class. Um, that is not an acceptable answer, uh, and you should have your bags with you regardless of whether you think you will need them or not. Bags need to be with you at all times. They cannot be left lying around. Now, we know that you are outside an awful lot at break and lunchtime these days, especially when the weather has been good, um, and that's great to see. It's great to see lots of people being happy and spending time with their friends and burning off some energy. However, we are aware um, as well that some people are playing perhaps a little too rough, that things can break down, that people get a little overexcited, and that folks end up perhaps reacting badly to something that, that happens um, and then obviously we end up having to pick up those pieces. So please, ladies and gentlemen, make sure that your behaviour at break and lunch when you're out and about, when you're in the playground, is sensible, that you're not acting in a way that's likely to upset or hurt somebody else. Be respectful of other people's personal space and people's property and just, just treat other people as you would like to be treated, guys. Just another reminder about what we are expecting of you um, as regards the, the COVID-19 protocols when you are in and around the school. Please remember that as you make your way around the school from when you come in in the morning to when you leave in the uh, afternoon that you should have a face covering on unless you have an exemption pass that has been arranged through guidance and the office. This means, folks, that you are ready prepared with one when you arrive in the morning. Um, as soon as you enter the building, you should have it on. You should be sanitizing your hands before you head up the stairs to registration. Um, and you should be sanitizing your hands whenever you're entering the classroom. It might be good, folks, if you could remember before you leave a classroom to sanitize your hands, place your face covering on, and then head off into the corridors. When you're in the corridors, please stick to the correct side that's the left hand side and remember to use the correct stairs if you are moving between the floors between periods one and two and between periods four and five. Please folks hygiene is really important we should be sanitizing our hands whenever we enter the buildings whenever we leave the building whenever you go into and out of classes and remember you should be wiping down your desk before the start of every period. So please folks you know what we expect of you. Most of you are doing this really well. A few of you are forgetting. Teachers will remind you, but please remember the face coverings, remember how you should be moving around the school, and remember your hygiene. So, while these virtual assemblies are fun, we are going to start um, doing some mini assemblies in person. Now, obviously, we, we are restricted in the number of people we can bring into the assembly hall, so it really only will be two classes at a time in order that people can be appropriately distanced while we're down there. So, to kick things off, 1P1 and 1P2 will be the first two classes that we have a mini-assembly for. They will take place tomorrow, that's Friday the 18th of September, in the assembly hall. So, rather than go off to registration, you should head for the assembly hall, where your registration teacher will meet you and they will take a register and then Mrs McNeil and I will speak to you about some of the things that we expect uh, you to be doing, 
give a few messages and just see you. Basically, it's one of the things that, that we do miss is when we don't get a chance to speak to you in person at these assemblies. So please, 1P1 and 1P2 tomorrow in the assembly hall, first thing. Do not go to your registration class. We'll put out a timetable for the other classes. We will be starting with first year and then we'll move through the other two year groups. Um, so keep an eye out for when the announcements are about when your mini assembly will take place. Okay, folks, that is all for me. Thank you very much for listening. I hope that you have a brilliant day. Um, do lots of good learning. See your friends. Be respectful. Take care and just enjoy being a pupil at Madras. Okay, guys, take care.